Hey everybody, hope all is well. Look on the screen. Unbelievable. So this will be part A. I've got two news clips to share with you. Let's look at those, please. And then I will return in a separate video for part B, which will be the commentary. This is really bothersome. She had nothing to do with an argument that escalated into a shooting. Yet 27-year-old Elena Henderson was caught in the gunfire. The innocent bystander just sitting in a restaurant in Hollywood Park when she was hit. First responders tried to save her life, but she died at the hospital. Tonight, Henderson's family shared her story with the night team's Alyssa Cole. Elena was there with me and uh, our best friend and AJ, we were just celebrating. Uh, she just got a new job. That's how Saturday evening started for 27-year-old Elena Henderson. She was visiting from out of town and celebrating her new career after graduating law school in Houston. Her boyfriend, Marcus McPherson, had taken her to Rose Bistro in Hollywood Park. There's never any problems there. You know, that's the only reason why I took her there. But an unexpected problem would happen. According to Hollywood Park Police, 22-year-old Derek Oliver Jr. got into an argument with two men outside of the restaurant. Oliver pulled out a handgun and shot the men several times. McPherson says one of the bullets hit Elena inside the restaurant. She fell in my arms and dropped covered her. I thought she was just having a panic attack. I cleared her outside and, you know, she blood and I uh, realized she was shot. Elena's family describing the senseless violence as their worst nightmare. Her mother relieved the man behind her daughter's death is in custody. I want him to have time to really sit with himself and God and really know the life he stole. He stole her from us. He doesn't care. Oliver is being held here at the Bear County Jail on a $1 million bond. And you know, earlier when I spoke with the family, they described Elena as a brilliant and kind person. And when I spoke with her boyfriend, he told me he even had plans to propose. The family is planning to take legal action against Oliver with hopes to gain justice. Okay, so people, that's going to be video number one. And let's go ahead, if you will, I want to show the last one because I want you to see. So she's gone. And I'm trying not to get into the commentary. Let's go ahead and look at this video clip of the mother. Oh, unbelievable. He needs to repent and he needs, we need justice. Mother's strong words to the man accused of killing her daughter. Tonight, the suspect is still on the run. This evening, wow. we're learning the Lone Star Fugitive Task Force has joined in the search for 22-year-old Derek Devon Oliver Jr. He's accused of opening fire inside a crowded bar and lounge. This happened Sunday after one in the morning at the Rose Bistro located off 281 in San Pedro. So police say Oliver got into an argument with two men and then escalated into a shooting. Two people were killed, including 27-year-old Alana Henderson. Police say she didn't know the shooter and was hit in the crossfire. Kent's 5 reporter Vanessa Croy is live from Hollywood Park Police Headquarters. Yeah, and Vanessa, Elena's mother actually said she was out celebrating when her life was cut short. Well, that's right, Henry and Audrey. I talked to Elena's family today, who is just devastated by the unexpected death of their daughter. Elena's mom told me that in the last few years, everything was working out just the way Elena had planned. She had earned her law degree and just wow. last week, she had accepted an offer for the job of her dreams. In fact, that's why she was here in San Antonio with her boyfriend to celebrate. Elena's mom also told me that her boyfriend was planning to propose, but sadly, oh he never got the chance. Wow. She became unresponsive in his arms. She passed pretty much in his arms. Denmika Eugene says her daughter, Elena Henderson, was on the top of the world. Just recently got the job she wanted Tuesday, this past Tuesday. They made her the job offer. The Colleen native and UTSA grad had recently earned her law degree and had traveled to San Antonio from her hometown to celebrate with her boyfriend of two years. Her boyfriend was ready to propose. Her light is so bright. 
Eugene said the couple had spent the day on the river walk. And her boyfriend told me they had the perfect day. But that day ended in tragedy. His actions were pure evil. Hollywood Park police say Henderson was an innocent victim, shot and killed after the accused gunman, Derek Devon Oliver, opened fire at the crowded Rose Bistro early Sunday morning. Another man died, a third injured. Investigators say Oliver got into an argument with the two other victims, pulled out a gun and started shooting at close range. Henderson was caught in the crossfire. Police say she wasn't the intended target. Officers are still trying to find Oliver, now wanted for capital murder. This evil being took lives and it's just so senseless. Police say Oliver has the word Tommy tattooed on his neck behind his ear, but may try to change his appearance. And while the search continues tonight, Eugene says she forgives the man accused of killing her daughter. Whatever God decides to do with him, that's up to him, but justice needs to be served. Well, right before the show, I spoke with the chief here of Hollywood Park Police who told me that earlier today he spoke to Elena's grandfather, a retired Detroit police officer. From one officer to another, Chief Pritchard here said that he would not rest until the person responsible for Elena's death is in custody. Now, once again, Derek Oliver is considered armed and dangerous. If you know where he is, you're asked to call Hollywood Park Police. Okay, everybody, so that's part A. The news report please stick around for part b in a separate video and we will have the commentary simply said here on youtube thanks for watching